NASA moon landing, Buzz Aldrin saw this out the Apollo 11 window, it's casting a shadow. NASA astronaut Buzz Aldrin was fascinated by a bizarre event he witnessed outside of the Apollo 11 spacecraft, according to historic transcripts of the moon landing mission. NASA's Apollo 11 ended the space race with the Soviet Union when astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon. The monumental achievement accomplished a goal set by U.S. President John F. Kennedy in May 1961 and cemented American dominance in space. The Apollo 11 astronauts, including Command Module Pilot Michael Collins, were hailed as American heroes. And as the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission approaches, astronomers and enthusiasts alike are revisiting the extraordinary feat. Apollo 11 launched from Florida's Cape Canaveral on July 16, 1961, on an eight-day mission to the moon and back. During these eight days in space, NASA's astronauts kept an open line of communication with NASA's mission control in Houston, Texas. All of these communication logs were recorded, stored and digitized by NASA for analysis today. Thanks to NASA's effort, diving into the space agency's archive of Apollo 11 tapes can shed a light on the behind the scenes of the mission. One moment, in particular, stands out on the third day of space flight when Buzz Aldrin looked outside of the command module spacecraft at the rapidly shrinking Earth behind him. As the astronaut looked out over the entire continent of Africa, Europe and the Middle East, something caught his attention near the border of Pakistan and India. The astronaut then patched into Houston, Texas, to report a shadow passing over the globe. He said, Houston, Apollo 11. We've got the continent of Africa right facing toward us right now, and of course, everything's getting smaller and smaller as time goes on. The Mediterranean is completely clear. The sun looks like it's about to set around Madagascar. The equatorial belt of Africa stands out quite clearly. We're seeing a dark green or muddy colored green, compared to the sandier colors of the southern tip of Africa and, of course, the Sahara northern coast of Africa. There's a rather remarkable cloud that appears in the vicinity of the border between Afghanistan and Pakistan. It's just about to go into the sunset now. It is casting quite a large shadow. It's isolated. There don't seem to be any other clouds. The band of clouds near the tropical convergent clouds down around the equator clearly separate the clockwise and the counterclockwise cloud formations. Over. According to Aldrin, the shadow cast by the unusual cloud was roughly the size of the Persian Gulf. Astronaut Bruce McCandless who was communicating with Apollo 11 replied, OK, we copy the width of the Persian Gulf, and I guess that all I can give you firsthand is a single isolated data point, and that is that it was clear here in Houston this morning. That's a pretty localized observation. Aldrin then concluded the cloud was a single cell thunderstorm brewing up to 50,000 feet up in the sky. He said, the eastern Mediterranean is phenomenally clear. You can see all the lakes, the Dead Sea stood out quite well. Over. Not long after the exchange between NASA and Apollo 11, the mission reached the moon where the three astronauts prepared for a lunar descent. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on July 20 but it would take six hours of preparations until they left their Eagle lunar module on July 21. Upon their return to Earth on July 24, after spending more than 21 hours on the moon, the three pioneers were awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Richard Nixon.